friends, welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Sydney and my channel is Just Sydney. I wanted to share with you guys how I knew I was pregnant before testing positive for my pregnancy test. If you are new here, I am a mom to twin three-year-old boys. Um, so it honestly had been a while since I experienced pregnancy symptoms, but I did remember a lot of what I did feel before finding out I was pregnant from my previous pregnancy. So I wanted to share with you guys some of the signs and symptoms I experienced to hopefully help you guys out if you are also thinking you're pregnant or um, if you are trying to conceive as well. I am currently 11 weeks pregnant, um, but I wanted to share this before doing a first trimester update. So I'm going to be doing that video after this one. So make sure to subscribe for more updates in the future and give this video a big thumbs up and if it helps you out in any way. So with all that being said, let's get into the first symptom that I thought was odd um, was that I was getting up to pee a lot during the night, um, which I never really do. I don't really drink a lot of water or anything at night. So I thought that was pretty odd and um, I wasn't too concerned at first, but that was definitely one of the first signs that I noticed um, as a symptom. The second symptom I did experience was, um, I'm not really going in order, just uh, what I remember and you know, no particular order. I was experiencing a lot of lightheadedness and dizziness uh, multiple days at a time. I do sometimes get low blood sugar and I thought maybe that was it, but I never really experience it multiple days at a time. Um, and then I have also, um, I was also anemic during my pregnancy. So I was, I was thinking maybe I was anemic and maybe I needed to start taking my iron pills again. So I started taking iron pills as well. Um, but I definitely thought that was very odd and made me kind of think that maybe I was pregnant. Um, and I, I wasn't late with my period at that time, but it definitely gave me a red flag and um, had me thinking that I was. So another symptom that I was experiencing, is I was overly emotional about everything. Um, I'm a pretty emotional person to begin with but I felt like I was even more emotional for anything. I would kind of just cry and even seeing a movie, I think it was called uh, Onward, um, I started crying at the end. I typically do cry during movies, but I was bawling and um, that's usually not how I react typically. So I thought that was definitely a sign as well with all of those hormones going on, you know, can get you extra emotional during pregnancy. Another sign and symptom I was experiencing, um, I actually started getting some lower back pain. It wasn't too painful, just very mild back pain. And I never get back pain these days. So I definitely thought that was, um, you know, odd and out of the ordinary and made me kind of think that I was pregnant as well. So this next symptom that I'm about to share definitely uh, gave me a really big red flag and I pretty much knew that I was pregnant after feeling the symptom. My breasts were super sore and tender um, and I never, I know that can be also a sign of PMSing, but even when I'm PMSing, my breasts have never been that sore or tender before. So I definitely had a feeling that I was pregnant and um, immediately wanted to take a pregnancy test, but I I actually wasn't late on my period yet so my husband and I talked about it and he was just like just wait a little bit and wait at least if you are late if you see that you're late on your period then take it that was the huge red flag for me um, since I know a lot of a lot of the symptoms I'm mentioning can be part of you know you getting your menstrual cycle so definitely be aware of that but for me I know my body and I know what I experience and what I feel when I'm about to get my period. So those were all new signs to me and most of them I was experiencing when I was pregnant with my boys in my previous um, pregnancy. That was definitely um, one that I was like, yes, I'm pregnant. I know I am and I kept telling my husband I was. Um, he honestly wasn't sure because the previous month I also thought I was pregnant, um, but it turned out I wasn't. During this time, I 
felt even more symptoms and I think honestly the biggest sign for me was that I had like a hunch and just a feeling that I was pregnant this time around. I did think I was the previous month but like I mentioned I didn't have any of these symptoms at all. Um, I think the only thing I, I was was I was a little bit late on my period the previous month. Um, I think it was just a couple days. And then obviously when leading up to my period, I had no menstrual cramps at all. Um, I am one that has very bad menstrual cramps. I've always had them um, as a teenager, even starting out having my period. I've always had severely bad menstrual cramps. And that was something that I didn't experience um, before leading up to my period. So that was one of the major signs that made me believe that I was pregnant obviously. Well. The last symptom and sign was that I had missed my period. Um, and I'm not very, I don't really keep up with my period too much, but I was keeping up with it um, the past previous months because I just wanted to be more aware of my cycle. And I had been over a week late already. So I knew that was definitely a huge red flag. And um, after a week, I finally told my husband, okay, I'm ready. <laughs> To go get this test and see if I'm pregnant and when I was taking the pregnancy test I, I did feel my reaction to taking that pregnancy test so if you guys haven't seen that video I will have it up here in the cards for you guys if you want to check that out after this video um, but I wasn't honestly that surprised that it was positive um, I was surprised because we weren't trying to conceive at the moment but just um, more like I had a feeling and like I knew I was pregnant. I knew all of these symptoms and signs weren't all in my head and they weren't normal and I knew I was pregnant. So it definitely validated everything I was feeling and all of these symptoms I had leading up to that positive test. So I found out I was pregnant around five weeks, five to six weeks. So yeah, those were pretty much all of my symptoms leading up to the positive pregnancy test. And if you guys want to see, I will be sharing my first trimester update with you guys probably in a couple of weeks. I am 11 weeks pregnant right now, so I have two more weeks until I'm out of my first trimester. So definitely keep a lookout for that video coming up very soon. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys, for any of you mamas that are trying to conceive or if you are trying to conceive for the first time and you have no idea what to expect. I hope this gave you a little insight. I know we all have different symptoms, so these all may not relate to any of you guys. I hope that it helped you guys in some way, shape, or form. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you made it this far, thank you guys so much for watching and sticking till the end. It really does help out my channel so much. Make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on any future videos pertaining to pregnancy related and motherhood. I would love to have you join my family here. And with all of that being said, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Just chase away.